Now for hosting, we do recommend HostGator. It is one of the most widely used hosting platforms available and it's very popular within the internet marketing community. So to get there, you just go to HostGator.com and to actually get your hosting plan, just click on View Web Hosting Plans. And most people will be okay with the Hatchling or Baby plan. With the Hatchling plan, you can only use a single domain as you can see here. So if you plan on registering more domains over time, which people generally do, it's better to go with the baby plan. It's only a couple dollars extra per month. Just click on the order now button there. And just type in the name of the domain that you just registered. And what that's going to do is it's going to link up the domain name with the hosting account. Click on continue to step two. And then you'll just enter all your payment information and click create account and it'll go through an automated setup process. Now when that setup process is done, you'll get an automated email notification that looks like this. This email contains all the setup information for your hosting account. Your control panel is where you can manage your domains, install WordPress. We'll get into that in another video. Your domain is there, username, password, and then your name servers. Now we need to make sure that Namecheap or GoDaddy or whoever we registered the domain name with does have this name server information. In this case, we are using Namecheap, so we'll go back over there. This is our home page. We're already logged in, so just click on My Account. And then Manage Your Domains, and scroll down to the domain you registered. Click on that domain. And then Domain Name Server Setup. And what you'll do is make sure these name servers right here match the domain name servers in that email. And all those name servers do is simply tell Namecheap or GoDaddy where your hosting and the website files are actually housed.